here today on ICW Championship Wrestling. Rick Devil against PYT. Me, Mark Ash, Mr. Webb. Oh, yes. Another one of my fine elite tag team partners. Our referee for this contest, Mr. James McCone. And as earlier, the PYTs accompanied to ringside by Miss Candy Kane. Well, Mr. Ash making some derogatory comments about Rick Diesel here, and I don't want to say anything about Rick Diesel because why I not? Everybody else guys. does. It's a fun thing to do. I mean, you can just talk trash about the guy, and he just laughs about it. He got I mean, he's an easy target too. Oh, a boost right to the chest. Oh, and he's really stomping away on the sternum there. Now delivering some hard right hands right into the throat area. Big Mark Ash up slams him. It's Rick Diesel really broken bad here right at the beginning of the match. Oh, a thumb to the eye. That's not legal. I don't think referee James McCone saw that. He's got his man draped across the rope, choking him. Oh, and see that double thrust taking his man down to the mat. Big clothesline, Rick Diesel, and a knee right into the chest. One, two. Well, Mr. Webb, you're a little bit silent over there beside of me. Oh, of course, I gotta pay attention to my man, make sure he don't get too. Well, Mark Ash coming back. Now I like that. He's coming back with some right hands of his own right to the top of the head of Rick Diesel. Takes him, whips him into the rope. Oh, wow, did you see that flying elbow? Referee James McCone getting in front of me. Come on, Ralph. Getting in the action a little bit there. Well, Rick Diesel on his back. One, two, only a two count. Rick Diesel, a big man to hold down like that. Oh, yeah. Mark Ash sat there and drives the right hand right to the forehead. Dishing out a little bit of the punishment that Rick Diesel gave him earlier. Oh, and a tremendous knee drop right across the forehead. On the Mark Spiner move. So, did you see that low bridge? Nope, sure didn't. Missed that. That'll one. stop the biggest man. As a matter of fact, it might stop the biggest man even more. Yep. Well, Rick Diesel back on top of the action here, and he's just driving that foot right into the throat using those ropes for leverage and referee James McCone quickly to break that up. And he's going to drop him right down across the top rope. Right on that chest. Right across the chest. Luckily he wasn't a windpipe. That could clearly do some damage to a man. Two count. He's awfully close to the ropes and that's definitely not a move you can prepare for. No, it's not. Well, the lovely Miss Candy Kane here at ringside, encouraging her man on. And she's a, a great asset to the PYT, as you can tell. I mean, she's a hell of a lot prettier than them two guys. Well, I think I'd have rather had her out on this interview that I just conducted. Yeah. Instead of Miss Carl, I kind of got shoved out of the way. Yeah. My set was commandeered. I'm sure you might be in the back of your mind worried about the heartbreakers lurking in the background after what happened at the beginning of the show. Yeah, I am. I'm kind of keeping my eye out. And oh, Rick Diesel uh, pulling on the ropes here for extra leverage. Back out on us. I'm sure Jason Jarrett has got his eye on the monitor in the back. If there's any funny business that might happen, he can take care of. Oh, yes. Well, Rick Diesel still using the rope here to his advantage. Referee James McCone not seeing anything. He's just seeing the vibrations of the rope after the fact. And he goes back to the rope again. Well, he caught him that time. He's administering the count to him, but he breaks in time. Mark Ash, one of the most talented young wrestlers that I've seen in a while. Rick Diesel taking his man, slamming him hard to the mat. I mean, look, he's got his leg right across the throat. I mean, you know, that's going to wear a man out real quick, too. Definitely. You cut off the air, you cut off a lot of things. Whoa, did you hear that? That caved his chest in. Oh, 
Mark Ash bringing his man to the middle of the ring. Going, going up to the top now. What's he going to do here? He's, oh, and he misses. And, oh, my goodness, I can feel that all the way down here. It's kind of gorgeous. I'm sure that drove that spine right up to the top of his skull. Rick Diesel is quick to capitalize on this as he delivers a forearm blow to the back. Covers his man. This is the best opportunity he might have. Oh, he's got that camel clutch locked in a rear chin lock. some encouraging. He's be over on this side of the ring doing some more encouragement on this side. I'd rather be. Yeah, that would encourage me over here. Here she comes, you know, asking you shall receive. Well, this is Sunday in Glen Alpine, and maybe they're going to, the gods are going to be grateful to us today. Really? Bet you ain't nobody in Glen Alpine seen something as fine as this woman in a long time. A very, very lovely lady. And Rick Diesel. I'm not taking anything away from Miss Carla. She's also a very lovely lady, I've noticed. Rick Diesel. Oh! Axe handle blow to the top of the head, and Rick Diesel a little bit staggered here. He doesn't know what's happening, I don't believe. Mark Ash takes his man turnbuckle, puts him into the opposite turnbuckle. And is he going to follow him in? I believe so. And here he goes. And Rick Diesel moves. Oh, and he meets that turnbuckle head first. It's not a real smart move. It kind of draws your brain a little bit. One, two. Rick Diesel with an attempted pin. Only a two count. And he goes to work on that left knee. Well, Rick Diesel working on that knee. That left knee there. The best thing to do is take somebody's wheels out from under them. Keep them on the mat. And may come up with that victory. Okay, there we go. Mark just needs a... Well, I wasn't thinking of that move, but I was thinking more along the line of him locking his legs around Diesel's neck and just giving a nice thrust up. That breaks it up. Oh, and oh, he attempts to pick him up, and that leg gives out on him. Just not strong enough to hold him up there with that bum leg. Rick Diesel goes back to that rear chin lock, planting that knee firmly in the back of Mark Ash. Well, the fans are definitely behind Mark Ash here, wanting to pull out this victory out. He breaks it up, smacking the ears. He's got to get quicker here in his follow up maneuvers. Drop kick. Knocks Rick Diesel into the turnbuckle and he bounces out. That does hurt quite a bit. And what? Oh, my goodness, what do we have here? The Heartbreakers making their appearance again. What is going on here, Mr. Webb? What is going on with the Heartbreakers? Uh, there's nothing I can do. You know, like I said, I'm no longer well, the heartbreakers. In the ring. Well, the heartbreakers, but sometimes double team and Mark Ash. I gotta do. I gotta do also. But, and here comes Jason Jarrett. And oh, what is what is going on here? The heartbreakers interjecting themselves in. The heartbreakers interjecting themselves in this match. The referee James McCone has disqualified Rick Diesel for outside interference. And your winner, the ICW heavyweight champion, Mean Mark Ash. And his partner, Jason Jarrett, in the ring, assisting him here as James McCone presents the belt to him. Your winner, Mean Mark Ash, over Rick Diesel by disqualification. I think I'm going to move up here to ringside. I'm sure they're going to have some things to say about this. Heartbreakers is what the hell are you trying to prove? Guarantee you something. Monday morning, me and this man here, we're going to be in the commissioner's office. And right here in this ring next week, I don't care if it's a title match, because when we get to the ring next week, it's going to be one big ass kicking going on. 
McKeever, you is a lot safer in jail, buddy. Well, well, there you have it, fans. Here ringside, the PYTs throwing out that challenge to the Heartbreakers, and this is not the last we're going to hear of this. For my co-host, David Webb, this is Ralph Harkey saying we'll see you next week on ICW Championship Wrestling. Hello, wrestling fans.